can you describe your way from studio to car audio? So how did that journey go? I grew up uh, in, a, in a very musical family. Basically, everyone in the family was involved, had some involvement with music, either uh, as an amateur or, or professional. I had to do something in music in my life. I had no choice. <laughs> And uh, but at the same time, I really enjoyed math and physics. So I said, okay, what can I do? How can I combine music, math, and physics? Well, I figured out that the, the, probably the right choice is audio engineering. Uh, this is something I already decided as a teenager. I was playing with some uh, tape machines, recording all sort of weird sounds, mixing them, and then computer audio. My my older brother introduced me to, to computer audio. So it was a kind of natural choice that, that I, I went for a, a degree in uh, audio engineering. So I, I, I studied uh, at the Kdansk University of Technology, started working uh, in, the, in the studio, in the, uh, in the TV, in the local TV station, local radio. And this is basically where it, where it started. Um, but after the technical, uh, technical university, you know, you, I had very solid engineering foundation, um, but I was always looking at these tonmeisters, you know, working with the orchestra, you know, with the scores and everything, and basically doing the music production. And I really wanted to, to, to understand actually what, what they do, uh, not only from technical point of view, but also from the uh, from the musical point of view. So I said, well, why not study a bit more? So I went for another degree, and I was extremely fortunate to, to get into the uh, McGill University sound recording pro uh, program that's uh, in, in Montreal in Canada. I was one of the six students that got admitted to, to that two-year program. And I have to say that was transformative uh, for my career in life. This is where I met some of the best recording engineers in the world, like George Massenburg, um, um, Richard King, and, and scientists like uh, Professor Wiesław Woszczyk. And this is where, so where I, what I learned there, that there are other options than studio. Some of the graduates of this uh, program, like Sean Olive, uh, probably some of you heard about him. He works for Harman. He's our senior fellow one of the most famous scientists, uh, audio scientists in, in the world. And this is the first time I heard about alternative paths than, than, than studio. So shortly after graduating from McGill, not immediately, but shortly after, I found this very interesting position at Bang & Olsen in automotive, being the acoustic uh, systems engineer. I applied, I got in. Uh, I think three years after I joined Bang & Olufsen, we've been acquired by Harman, and the rest is history. That's our location in Garching, uh, so we, we have four offices for uh, acoustics in, in Europe, and this is just a small part of, of my team uh, in Garching, our car labs, our building. It's, uh, it's, a really, it's a great team.